tubes, beams, channels, angles. Special automatic and manual welding methods were employed. An upper meridian section is welded. The south pole is assembled. Land areas were fabricated and assembled on this turtle-shaped fitting table, which duplicated the exact curvature of Unisphere. Conformed to United States Army Engineering Corps contour maps, mountains and valleys are shown in exaggerated relief in order to achieve effective visualization of elevation. Wrapped to protect the stainless beauty, sections were shipped by rail and highway to Unisphere's site. Just ahead of the construction of the pedestal, 30 USS T-1 steel anchor bolts are set and the concrete base poured around them. First structural member to go into place is the South Pole. One of Unisphere's largest members, a lower meridian, is carefully fitted into the south pole and laid across the pedestal. Actually welded girders, the lower meridians will support the entire structure. Right at the site, many of the members are field welded into sub-assemblies nicknamed orange peel sections. To provide support and access, a temporary mast is placed along Unisphere's polar axis. When the structure is complete, Unisphere will be self-supporting and the mast removed. The southern hemisphere, like a giant bowl, is completed in 83 days. becomes a world of stainless steel when the last flag-topped section is set in place. of the land areas can begin. Delicate work. No job for windy days though, because the sections act like big kites if not securely held.
continents and islands in place, it remains only to raise the three orbit rings. Weighing three tons each, the orbit rings are field welded into a continuous single piece 450 feet around. Special care is taken to protect the polished surface. To prevent bending, each orbit ring is lifted by four cranes, each attached at three points. An intricate communication plan and network links all hands. Precision teamwork means that the orbit rings rise slowly and evenly. About 50 stainless steel guy wires connect each ring to unisphere, just as spokes tie a bicycle wheel rim to its axle. Strong and light, they are so difficult to see that the rings seem to float in space. Only 162 days after construction was begun, unisphere is complete. Its challenge successfully met. Crystal Palace, Eiffel Tower, Trilon and Perisphere. Unisphere now joins these and the other memorable timekeepers of progress. A spectacular piece of open stainless steel sculpture, Unisphere is dedicated to man's aspirations towards peace through mutual understanding and symbolizes his achievements in an expanding universe.